of the translation to the top of the lab, you said that the y over the x for quotient two is simply what the v the u over the x minus u the v over the x all over the square. Now at this point, I will substitute my value inside this parameter. So check what v. V is what three x per four minus two x. 3x uh, to the power 4 minus 2x. This is my value for v. What is the u over the x? Check. My the u over the x is all this. So putting all this um, at this section, obviously to um, reduce my space, I can simply expand this. Right? I'll just put it down. I have 3 into 8x minus 2 all into 4 x squared minus 2x minus 1 all to power 2 so this is my v the u over the x is this next up i'm having a negative sign here that's minus u what's u u is obviously all this thing here right so i have my u to be uh, 4x squared minus 2x minus 1 all to power 3 that's this is my u Alright, the V over the X, check. The V over the X what? This term here. I have 12X over 3 minus 2 at this point. So, all over V squared. What V? Check. V squared. V is what? 3X to power 4 minus 2X or squared. So, now at this point, let's do our simplification. Let's simplify this. So first is first, I'll have that the y over the x is equal to of that this. Put this term back here, right? Put this term back here. I'll have 3x to the power 4 minus 2x this way. Next up, use this 3 to open this bracket. 3 times x is what then? 24. With this x, I'll have what then? 24x. A minus sign, I'll plug in minus here. 3 times 2 is what there is 6. I'll put 6 here. I've expanded, I, I'll do this 3 to expand this value here. Next up, to repeat this one here, I have into 4x squared minus 2x minus 1 all to power 2. This is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not for this. Next up, a negative sign is here. Obviously, I'll have minus here. All these terms I plug in them there, I'll have that 4x squared minus 2x minus 1 or to power 3, right? Then into this, um, into 12x cubed minus 2 this way. So all over this square is simply 3x squared, sorry, 3x power 4 minus. 2x all squared. Now listen, at this point, at this point, let's check. Are there uh, like terms, right? Can we factorize? Obviously, yes, we can factorize at this point. You can leave it as an answer, but perhaps you need to simplify it to the uh, minimum level, right? So if you're done closely, I can see clearly 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 at this part. I can also see in other part that I can see 4x squared minus 2x plus 1. These two terms are the same. Now in mathematics, let me show you something. Let me show you a concept. Uh, if I have, let me say for instance, I have A, B, C minus, uh, let's say, 3, B, A. Now let's see. This is a minus. Separating this two. Now, hence, what is common with two? I can see A here, A here, no problem. I can see B, B, no problem. So those common them, bring them out as one. So I have what? A, B are common. Then, off your bracket. If I use A, B to divide everything here, I'll have only C left. A, B cancel A, B, I'll have, I'll have C. So put in C here. Minus sign is here. If I divide A, B with this, A and B cancel out. Left is what? B, B. So this is my factorized value. So I apply this concept to this. So obviously, I will have that the y over the x over the x is equal to. We said this is common for the both sides. Hence, the one that, since, since this and this are common, the one the one with the smallest part is this. This this has this part three. So bring that the one with what the lesser part. So I have this. 
one, this value here, by all this. Obviously, this will cancel out this. Left with what? This two. So bring down those three. That's three x to the power four minus two x. I have this into to the four x minus six. I have this. So if I multiply this by this, I will have all this here. A minus sign is here. I have a minus sign. Divide this by this two here. Obviously, this will cancel out this. But I will be left with what? One of this, right? So I have. 4x squared minus 2x minus 1 all to power 3 then put this into uh, 12x cubed minus 2x so all into so all over all over this square is 3x to power 4 minus 